for device manager. Boom. Okay. Run as administrator. Okay. Now I'm uh, I'm gonna let it do the reanalysis thing real quick. Protecting CPU zero. I have the no down. Um, I wonder if it screwed up trying to find the other one or something like that. So. Yeah, I want to replace these uh, these clock cores with X cores. I really do. Boom, 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 boom. Right art. My 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 poker face. Anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> oh art. This is horrible. I am playing, oh Jesus Christ, this is, oh God, uh, I am playing a Death Knight, <laughs> trying to, and I'm at the very end of the beginning quest line for Death Knights, so you're, you're trying to take back the Ebon Hold, mm -hmm. so you have to kill the Scourge that are inside Ebon Hold, right? Mm -hmm. well, well, what the many patchworks can do is they can hook you and pull you in. It's a domino effect. One pulls you, you aggro the 17 other ones, and they all hook you around the circle and aggro everything. And I can't do anything about it. <laughs> That's definitely no point now. Oh, this is horrible. I can't do anything. <laughs> okay, it can pick up. What, have, uh, what am I looking at over here again? Uh, you want to check the uh, CPU processors on the left side? Yep, I see And him. then on the right side, you scroll down um, until you see check marks on the left, a bunch of green check marks. On the section right above that, should say L1 cache, L2 cache, L3 cache. Okay, yeah. I see that. Yeah. 12 megabytes on L3, and it is right here. 4x256, L1 cache. Okay, what am I looking at over here? Oh, those are the sizes of the caches. It could okay. be because those. I'm pretty sure those are the cores, but I remember seeing somewhere else. Like there was like it was listing the cores. Let me look in this. Oh, this is no bueno art. I'm gonna upload this video so you can you can see this horribleness. I gotta see this. 